Hello, everybody, and welcome to tonight's riveting episode of Cooking with Stupid, where, as always, the production value sucks, and so do the jokes. Greetings and salutations, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. I uh, hope everybody's still washing their hands and wearing your masks and social distancing. Uh, we're not out of the woods yet, but I digress. So, hi everybody. Hey Doug. Hey Steve. So, we're going to change things up here a little bit at Cooking with Stupid. As you all know, I have started a YouTube channel. Go subscribe! It's Cooking with Stupid on YouTube. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Cooking with Stupid the number one. That's Cooking with Stupid one. But, um, we're going to still do our live show here on Facebook. I'm just not going to be going too much into the comments when I'm doing our show. Because again, we're going to be showing, we're going to be downloading this onto YouTube very shortly after every single episode. The only episode you're never going to see on our YouTube channel, obviously, will be the live auctions because it'll be after the fact. But go hit us up on YouTube, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Share around. Remember, when we hit 1,000 followers on YouTube, we are going to have a giveaway. More on that to come at later dates. Um, also, I had mentioned earlier this week that I'm going to be having a claim sale for some of my artwork that I've been doing as of lately. So, that having been said, more details to follow. What we're going to do is I'm going to bang out a few paintings this week. Uh, hopefully by Saturday, I'll have a bunch. I'm just going to post the pictures of every single individual painting on our Facebook page, Cooking with Stupid, and I'm going to have the price listed right then and there with the picture. If you want it, hit claim. Just comment claim on the, on the picture. That one's yours. If you don't, no hard feelings. I'm not Picasso. I'm not a Greg Hildebrandt. I'm just me, a guy doing stuff, making mistakes. Now, tonight, what are we doing? Air fryer steak. Can you cook a steak in an air fryer? Probably. Should you? We're going to find out. So let's go over to our stove where I've semi-prepped some stuff. Things you're going to need for your air fryer steak. Most importantly, a steak. We got us some boneless center cut. Uh, I forget what cut that is. Are these ribeyes? They're ribeyes. I'm sorry. Thank you, Bobby. Uh, they are boneless ribeyes center cut. We're just going to wing it pretty much because I don't know if this is going to work. So what you want to do is get your air fryer. We have the Instapot brand one, and we are all good. Air fry. We're going to set it for, hit your time button, set it for 12 minutes, and our temperature, eh, let's just kill these things, 400 degrees. Sound fair? Cool. Give it about five minutes to get the temperature. In the meantime, you're going to take your cuts of meat. Let them sit out at room temperature 20, 25 minutes. You're gonna let them rest. Get some paper towel and just pat dry the moisture on off of them. Don't like dry them, dry them out. Just pat it dry a little bit. That's gonna help with some of the crisping you're gonna want in your air fryer. Again, also to help, this is optional. Just get a little bit of olive oil. You don't have to go crazy. And just slightly, ever so slightly, Drizzle a little bit on there. La 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 la. Spread the wealth. La la la. Oh my god, he's touching raw meat with his bare hands. Well, number one, I did wash my hands before I did this. And number two, I'm going to rewash them now that I've done that. So again, just get a little bit of olive oil. You don't have to go crazy, kids. Drizzle some on there. Make sure you get both sides. And then you heard us public service announcement, kids. Make sure you wash your hands before and after beating your meat. Yep. Anytime you're touching any raw, uncooked food, always wash your hands. Don't cross-contaminate. If you're using meat and vegetables, use different separate knives. But always, always wash your hands. There we go. Get in there. You can see he's washing his hands. Wash, 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 wash. Now, once you've had your little olive oil bath on there, again, just drizzle a little bit. Drizzle? Drizzle. 
Just drizzle a little bit on. You don't have to go nuts. Now you're going to season your steak. This is your preferential choice. Is that the word I want to look out for? No, this is your decision. I'm just a, a classic salt and pepper kind of guy. You can use some steak seasoning. You could use garlic. You could do whatever you want. It's your steak, whatever your preference is to seasoning. Go for it. I'm not going to yell at you. But again, I'm a traditionalist. A little salt. That's pepper. Ah, my bad. Probably help if you took the cap off, Sean. A little salt, a little pepper. Make sure you get both sides. Again, raw meat. So I'm gonna wash my hands. I do that a lot. I do it quite often, actually. Not a whole bunch. Just enough to just give it a little kiss of flavor. That's all you're gonna do. Put my salt and my pepper back up. Again, five minutes. It's about as long as it's going to take to preheat your Instapot, your air fryer, whichever one you got. That little notification is letting me know we are pretty much ready to go. Do 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 do. So, open her up. And you want to have a nice even spacing. Put one there. Drop the other one there. And go. Pretty simple, isn't it? Now we set it for 12 minutes at 400 degrees. About halfway through, we're going to pop them out, flip them over, let them go for the remaining six minutes. In a perfect world, that should be a medium, medium rare cooked steak. So I like it. I'm not a rare guy. I don't prefer it to be blue. Um, well done steak, you just throw it out. Just, no, don't cook well done. You want to go medium, medium rare. You want to have a nice tender cut. You want to have a nice tender piece when you're eating it. You're not eating a shoe. So anything over medium, medium well, eh. Again, it's your choice. I like mine moving. Yeah, but well done. Not in this house, kids. Not today, Satan. Now, also, guys, don't forget, we are doing our live charity fundraiser auction here uh, right over on our Facebook page. Uh, that's going to be 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that will be March 28th. So we hope to have you guys all tune in for that one. Excuse me. Uh, there we go. You want to see some of the some of the items up for auction? Just some. We have the Osaka Star Wars Funko Pop. We're all in withdrawal now. The Mandalorian's over until next year, but we're getting a spinoff. Also, guys, coming up very very soon on Disney Plus, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Ah, so to celebrate that, because WandaVision's done. We have the Winter Soldier, the Falcon, and the Baron Zemo Funko Pops going up for auction. And we wouldn't be a very good comic book kind of related show if we didn't have comic books. So here we have, guys, special guest artist for this month. We have Daniel Acosta did this Spider-Man black costume sketch cover for us. This was done in nothing but colored pencils. Also, up and coming artist Ashley Wolf. She did this fantastic Superman sketch cover for us. I just want to get a little close on that because. Yeah. Like, just to really appreciate how good this is. We'll do a close up shot for you guys on the Spider Man from Daniel Acosta. And these are just gorgeous pieces we got for us. Also, we have the autographed clause number one, signed by Joe Linzer. 
that's going out the door for the other auction. Let's add some stuff on, shall we? Um, also, we're going to throw in the never-before-opened Thanos, a god up there is listening hardcover book. Retail price on this is $24.99. You know we're not going to start the bidding. Nowhere close to that. So here we go, guys. The Thanos, a god up there is listening hardcover book. And you know what? I like you guys. So, you know I like throwing in a special one every once in a while. I don't, as of yet, I do not have a CGC comic book for this month's charity fundraiser auction, but I'm gonna. So how about, how about this? Signed by Jim Starlin, George Perez, and Mike DiCarlo. Oh yeah, what do we got, kids? Batman number 42, A Lonely Place of Dying, part five of five. First appearance of Tim Drake as Robin. Epic book, kids. You know I like giving away those key issues for y'all. So that's just some of this month's charity fundraiser auction items. Don't forget, guys, March 28th, live on Facebook, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be there or be square. All right, so we got two more minutes left in our air fryer, and then we're going to flip our steaks, and then we have six minutes away. What's going to happen? Are they going to be cooked? Are they not going to be cooked? Stay tuned and find out. In the meantime, I'm going to get a plate because we want to plate our food. You guys do whatever side you want. Baked potatoes, mashed potatoes, steak fries, a mixed vegetable perhaps. Sky's the limit, kids. Steak pretty much goes with anything. Yeah, pretty much goes with anything. It's steak. How can you go wrong? You can't. So, one more minute. We're going to flip our air fryer steaks around. <laughs> really hope this works out. Let's go take a look so far, shall we? Hoi! Oh, oh, I'm getting old. You know you're getting old when every time you make a move, everything in your body makes a sound. What does that mean for me? Because I'm half your age. You're doomed. You're as doomed as doomed can be. Doomed. Whoa, wouldn't it be nice if we could wake up? We're getting our fork and knife for dinner. All right, six minutes left in the shot clock. Gonna get our, yeah, get our tongs out. Hey, so far so good. I'm not complaining. Give him a little flip. There we go. I'm a little skeptical of the marks I just saw on the nah, bottom of that. It'll be fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. You better hope in six minutes it's fine. Now, for those of you, if you're just watching for the first time, we do something unique here on Cooking with Stupid. When I'm doing my live cooking show here on Facebook, if you're watching on YouTube, go over to Facebook, click like and follow. Don't forget to share and care, kids. We do something different from any other cooking show. We have something called the Spinning Wheel of Doom. As you will see right over here, we have our little Spinning Wheel of Doom. Now, it has a whole bunch of punishments on it. Should I screw up a recipe on our live Facebook show? I have to spin this thing. Whatever the punishment that comes up, I have to do. So far to date, I've been waxed. Did not enjoy that. I've done the one chip challenge. If you don't want that, don't know what that is, Google it. It's not pretty. I have done a hot sauce roulette. Again, painful. Uh, I have also been shot with paintballs. Sky's the limit. There was that one time you also may have had to eat dog I Yes, I actually had uh, a mystery sloppy joe sandwich a la dog food. Dog treats. Dog food. Treats. If a dog eats it, it's dog food. But treats, it's, whatever. But they're treats for special puppies. Either way, it was horrible. Um, so y'all want to watch the live show on Facebook because you never know what's going to happen. I don't want to know what's going to happen because the spinning wheel of doom is not my friend. I hate it. I'm not happy with drag. it. I have done, yeah, I've dressed in drag. I'm not a good looking man. I made a worse looking woman. So that's what you got, guys. Turn food. I don't have to. You're going to get notifications on, depending on which brand of air fryer you have, it'll notify you. We have a digital Instapot version. 
It'll no notify you when to turn your food, whatnot. Again, we already flipped our food halfway through, so there's no need to flip it again. Um, the bonuses, why do you want to cook a steak in an air fryer? Again, we don't know if this is going to work. Well, right now in New Jersey here, it's windy as sin out right now. It's like Chicago in the spring. Actually, the light by our house is out right now. Yeah, um, it's gusting up to like 50 miles an hour. So I was going to grill steaks. Well, it's kind of too windy to do a grill. I didn't feel like doing my George Foreman grill. I love it to death. It'll cook a steak in six minutes, but it takes about three days to clean. So I just want to try the Instapot. Give it a shot. See what happens. So far, so good. Doesn't look too bad. Um, the only downside is you're not going to get that crisping, burning, uh, charring that you would get grilling. But it's still going to cook either way. It's the best part of the steak. That is the best part of the steak. But you do with what you can. Another downside if you're doing an air fryer, if your power goes out, you have a problem. We don't have a generator. We should probably get a generator. One of these days we might get a generator. I mean, I don't really worry about it because we're on the main grid, so. Right. Like I said, the traffic light out right outside of our house went out, but we still have power. Um, but, yeah, so guys, go over to YouTube, find us, Cooking With Stupid, hit the subscribe button, share that stuff all over the place. Let's go big, guys. Let's go epic. Let's go viral. Why? The more people that watch our live charity fundraiser auctions, the more money we raise for charity. That's why we do this show. We do this for multiple reasons. Number one, to teach you guys, some of you guys don't know how to cook. So we're teaching you how to cook. This is a simple, easy recipe your kids could do. There's no fire involved. You can't overcook anything. You can't, you really can't screw this up too much. It cook, it sets itself, guys. Once you shut that drawer and you hit start, you're good to go. Um, so we teach some people how to cook. We share our unique recipes with you all. But mainly we raise money for charity. That's some of the things we're trying to do in the world. I've done a lot of bad in my life trying to make up for it this way. So far, so good. We've raised a few thousand dollars for a whole bunch of different charities. We're just going to keep on going. So don't forget to click like and share. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Go all over the place, kids. Two minutes left on the shot clock. Oh, the yeah. tension's mounting. Now, are we including visuals in this, whether you nailed that too or no? We're going to cut this bad boy open. Uh, when you're cooking any any cut of beef, after you've had it cooked, you want to let it sit and rest for a few minutes. Uh, give it a chance to just complete itself and get a nice, good, clean cut on it. Again, I am in no way, shape, or form a classically trained chef. I will never call myself chef anything. I'm just a guy that likes to cook. But I try to simplify it for all y'all. You watch all these other cooking shows and they use all the, the chef terminology. It's not me. I didn't go to culinary school. I went to the school of mom. That's how I learned how to cook. Because if I wasn't going to eat what she cooked, I had to take care of myself. 20 seconds. Oh, oh, oh. It smells pretty good, not going to lie. Not too bad. It just smells like meat. It just smells like meat. But still, meat, steak. Mmm. Uh, and also, guys, happy St. Patrick's Day. It's coming up this Thursday for all of our Irish friends out there and our nine Irish friends. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Don't overdo it with drinking. Again, guys, it's already finished, done, and it shuts itself off. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So let's take these things out and see how we did. Oh. No, we haven't made eggs in the air fryer yet because we really don't eat eggs that much. Well. Looks like we got us some cooked steaks. That here. looks really floppy. Yeah, well, you know. All right, kids. I'm going to give you the best chance when I eat it. I'm going to eat that semi kind of cooked. <laughs> that piece so again we're just gonna let these sit think about what they've done in life give it a minute or two um, I'm going for a medium cook so it's gonna be a hot pink center in here fingers crossed anything less than that you just adjust your own times you want it cooked a little bit more increase it like I said we did 12 minutes at 400 degrees in an air fryer 
That's going to give us a medium, a medium cook, which is be a hot pink center. If you want a medium well, increase a couple of minutes. You want well done, don't. Just don't. Here. But here we go, guys. Here's how we look thus far. The outside looks fully cooked. It just looks... Yeah. The color is so off to Right. Me. It's off because it wasn't fire grilled. Like I said, you, you give me that charred little piece of fat right there. Well, I'm just going to cut right through the dead center. I meant for me to taste it to All make sure right. you didn't screw it up. Well then. Give you the best chance you could possibly get. Here we go, kids. Thought you have to let it rest. I let it rest long enough. Oh, that just cuts like butter. There we go. That's not, the light doesn't do it very well. The light just makes it look washed out. To me, it's that's a medium cut. It, it's a medium rare, like medium rare. It, it's it's. But now it's like on the cusp of not being cooked enough for my. But I'll give it to you. Hmm. Now to answer your question, can you cook a steak in an air fryer? Yes, you can. Should you? Eh. Again, it's not entirely gonna be 100% to your liking. You're never gonna make anybody happy, but you know what? I'm chalking this up to a success. I would probably just, me in particular, I would maybe do, like I said, I'm just giving, I'm winging this one. I didn't figure out how to do this. So you want to get a little bit more of a cook for your medium. Maybe do 14 minutes. After seven minutes, flip it. Another seven minutes, you're good to go. But to me, I mean, I like it medium rare. This is perfect to me. I am one happy camper. It's nice and tender, still juicy. The only complaint I have, mm -hmm. when you grill a steak, you know how the fat usually kind of like melts in your mouth? It's just yeah. like, mm, kind of got to chew it a lot. Yeah. Like this. Again. Which is not your fault. It's an air fryer in general yeah. thing, I think. So again, kids, can you cook a steak in an air fryer? Yes, you can. I don't Should recommend you? it though. I'm sorry. I mean, again. It's... Maybe it's, it might just be me and I'm real, I'm really particular about my steak. Yeah. I mean, I'm not per se. I could care less. I'll totally just eat the charred bits on the outside. I'm not particularly <laughs> hungry, so. But. I just want the fat. Because at least the flavor's there. It's chewy. It's just, but the, it's it a still win. tastes okay. Yeah, it is still very nice. It's very tender. Again, I have no complaints. So there you go, kids. We answered the age old question. Not really an age old question. All the rage right now are Instapots and air fryers. Everybody's jumping on board with these. So can you. Yes. It looks Should you? edible. That's the perfect yeah. description for that. Um, yeah. Should you? In a pinch, like I said, if you have inclement weather, it's too windy for us to grill. I didn't feel like doing the George Foreman tonight. So I figured we'd give the air fryer a shot. Worked out pretty well. I have no complaints. I basically just want all the charred pieces. Let's just be honest yeah. here. But like I said, I, <laughs> I'm a medium rare kind of guy. And right there, guys, you have your hot pink center. You can't see that at all. You have your hot... Stop flopping. You have your hot pink center fully cooked. To me, I'm I'm chalking this up as a win. Can I have a piece of it just to see? Yeah. I didn't have the meat yet, so... But it is tender. I mean, this is cutting like butter. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Oh, oh, that little patch of pepper saved your ass. <laughs> Ooh, that, mm. that was, that was good. Oh, yeah. I would probably pan fry, yeah. Yeah. I would now, rather pan fry in like a cast iron. Yeah, now that is again another option. Get a cast iron skillet. Do two minutes on each side. A little olive oil in there. Do two minutes on each side to get a nice char on the outside. Then throw it in the air fryer. For the love of God, though, learn from my mother's mistakes. Make sure when you use the cast iron... It has been seasoned properly before use. If you go on our Facebook channel, guys, <laughs> go on our Facebook change page, 
You'll see we did a full episode on how to take care of a cast iron skillet. You I, should have one. You do not want to cook food in one that has not been taken care of and mm -hmm. has been sitting there. No. Um, we've done a whole bunch of different episodes. We're in our third year now doing Cooking with Stupid. So, if you're not a fan of us, why not, kids? Get on board. But that's our show for tonight. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to go over uh, our YouTube. Go subscribe. It's Cooking with Stupid. Thanks for tuning in here every single Sunday. We appreciate the sin out of that. Follow us on Instagram, Cooking with Stupid, the number one. So we're live every Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time <coughs> on Facebook. As soon as our show's over, we're going to upload this onto our YouTube channel. Remember, when we hit 1,000 followers on our YouTube channel, we are going to have a special giveaway. Is it going to be a CGC comic book? I don't know. Is it going to be a special key issue Silver Age comic book? I don't know. Is it going to be one of our official Cooking with Stupid t-shirts? I don't know. We just have to wait and find out. But until then, we do thank everybody for coming on board here. And as always, eat, drink, and stay healthy, everyone. Ciao. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I'm not complaining. I'm a happy little camper. And that's just more for me to eat. Good night, kids. You have two steaks. I know. Ew. Mm-hmm.